Hey, I just created a professional Wix site for my business. Let's check it out. Go to Wix.com. Hey, what's up? Uh, thanks. You like that? I like that. Uh, I like that song. It really makes me. Uh, I don't know. It reminds me of. It reminds me of Power Morphicon a lot because that's when I use that uh, song a lot. My Power Morphicon vlogs. What is up, everyone? Me and apparently everyone else in Zordon's Green Earth. Excuse me. Are live streaming right now tonight because tonight has been crazy. It's Saturday night. Excuse me again. Man, I can't edit any of that out. Uh, it's Saturday night, guys. Today has been absolutely crazy. Uh, I have my drink. Uh, if you guys want to as well, drink your bubbly, drink your your Coke Zero. That's normally it's my honestly my my drink of choice right here is fully caffeinated Coke Zero. But for this, it's Ranger Liz. So there we go. Lots of stuff. What's up? Nice shirt. Thank you, Nathan. There we go. And what you guys can't see, actually, uh, I'm also wearing my inner gym right here. I got my Yoshi inner gym, and, uh, and I'm also rocking my, uh, my pink Kimberly communicator. I'm totally rocking the dino theme, because that's... Am I excited? Yes, I'm super excited. So here's the thing. I am planning on doing this for about one hour. So I'm saying, well, actually... It is 9 o'clock right now my time. Basically, I'm going to give this another 2-3 minutes of just like, hey, what's up, let everybody get in, and then I'm going to go 15 minutes, we're going to talk about Lightning Collection, we're going to talk about Ranger Slayer, we're going to talk about the Dragon Dagger, uh, anything Lightning Collection you guys want to talk about, we can go ahead and talk about that for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to switch gears, we're going to talk about Beast Morphers for about 15 minutes and that's if you want to talk about mayor daniels and all that revealed today you want to talk about just the episode that happened today i really liked it i love Devin. like just like drop me in the pit yo okay it was great it was great so if you want to talk about that and then we're going to go specifically 15 minutes at least into ryu sojer being adapted as the next season of Power Rangers, so we have so much stuff to talk about, and then that last 15 minutes is just going to be hammering out through everything else, so I hope you guys are ready to go, we're going to have some fun today, uh, chat, what's up, how you guys doing, Darth Red, what up, uh, excited, 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 man, Johnny, you excited about the team up, and new adaptation, I'm so excited for that team up, uh, I'm excited to see Jason, yeah, it's more than time in front of all of these rangers, you know, Jason, the, the Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin, and then boom, all of these guys now. So, really, really excited uh, to see these guys in action. So, I have got to toss a tweet 
out real quick uh, because I haven't done that yet to actually let people know that I am live right now. No, I am live. There we go. Maybe we'll get uh, maybe we'll get a few more people in here as I get started. A lot, so much stuff has happened today. Matthew, what if uh, what do you do if all power Rangers Megazord were combined into one Megazord? I think the Earth would actually collapse in and of itself from the weight of the sheer awesomeness that would be that giant Megazord. Minshew Man, what is up? Steven, how you doing, man? It's been it's been a crazy day, right? It's been a crazy day for news. Um, Johnny Murray, I'm calling right now. Ryu Soldier, at, Ryu Soldier adaptation is a Dino Charge sequel. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Don't tempt me. Brandon, what's up? What's up? Everything Marvel Legends and more cinema reviews. How y'all doing today? Orange Ranger videos. He's a good guy. He does a lot of Power Ranger stuff. So if you want to catch up on I just so many reviews. If you're a big fan of reviews, you gotta go hit up Orange Ranger videos. Uh do you wish for a pipe Do I want a Power Rangers Hyper Four season two? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Hands on that dragon dagger, man. I want it as well. So I gotta start this timer, guys. Because I told myself we got to keep it concise because I – so I posted a video today. It was only about, what, like six minutes long or something. Basically going, look, this is all of the huge, the headlines. Here you go. Tonight is just the fun and the hype. And either Sunday or Monday, I'm actually going to be breaking down everything for you guys, such as the breakdowns of the videos and any things you may have missed, as well as all of the toys that may have slipped through details and everything about that. So that video – is going to be coming this week very very soon tomorrow or the next day but for right now let's have some fun and talk all about this 15 minutes ready go we ah! okay backstory on that i don't know how but i hurt my thumb we're talking about the lightning collection let me get the photo up real quick yeah, I, I somehow injured my thumb. I slept on it wrong or something, and um, I just popped it really hard. That's that's crappy. Lightning Collection. I'm just going to post this one up because, yes, we did get the stuff about the Lightning Dragon Dagger. If I can catch a picture of it real quick, then I will. YouTube does not do work. YouTube barely pays. Uh, well, <laughs> depends what your definition of pay is. Um, these guys. So... Definitely a few ways to get them. One, they're up on HasbroPulse.com. They're up for anyone. You do not have to be a Hasbro Pulse Premium member in order to get them. Two, they are up on Amazon. I have the links to them below. I am an Amazon affiliate. Therefore, if you purchase one of these figures by using my link, you pay $0. Amazon pays me about $0.60 cents a figure. That's right. You don't have to donate or do anything. You can simply buy one of these figures using my affiliate link, and I will make, like, 60 cents, which goes towards better lighting. That's my next. My next upgrade for the channel. I've mentioned that before, but my next a big upgrade for the channel is definitely going to be lighting, because I need it, you need it, the American freaking people. Need it? That is a really good question. Why doesn't Ranger Slayer come with a head? Uh, I don't know. My guess is uh, maybe the same reason Magnet Defender didn't, just that he took so much more plastic to make, and he had the cape, and there were so many more parts to him that they couldn't dedicate the resources into making a face that was worthy. Um, that's one theory. Another one could be they've already did a Kimberly face. Maybe they didn't want to do another Kimberly. Maybe they didn't want to reuse the same face or have to re-sculpt it. Uh, as you see with, with Trey of Triforia, the Gold Ranger, how crazy is that? Um, yeah, they did not use the Jason head again. So I really, I like it. I like the fact that they gave Trey a head because if you want Jason's head, he's, he's literally available on like wave four right now, you know? So he is readily available. So if you see this and you go, oh my god, my Gold Ranger has to have a Jason head on it, you have plenty of time to go pick up a Red Ranger figure and hopefully, hopefully try Audible Affiliate. Yeah, that'd probably be the better way, but 
Ranger Liz needs better lighting. I do. I have a light up here. It's just where I record. Like, you guys can tell I have better lighting whenever I do, like, more sit-down videos. It's just when I record, I have my back against a wall, and, then, like, it's literally against a wall. I'm actually halfway in a closet. Is it? We took the doors off of a closet, and my desk is in the closet. So we, we got more room, but being in a closet, you don't necessarily get a lot of lighting. Um... Uh, Sir Paladin, I'm sorry, I'm looking at really small font, so it's actually, I'm kind of, I'm a little squinty tonight, trying to read everything. Billy's head looks awful. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, you know, with the, with these lightning collection heads, uh, you win some, you lose some. Guys, and that is the really, really crappy thing of it, is that you win some, you lose some, some are great, some aren't, um... If you had to ask me when it comes to Ranger Slayer, and, and what do you guys think, would you would you rather have, so here's a question for chat right now, would you rather have her head, but eh, not, not really a good head, or no head, but a better cape? Think about it, think about it, uh, uh, I want... I want Ranger Slayer because I, I mean, I want Kim with the spiky hair. I want her with the more mature, grizzled kind of face, you know, that battle damage of, of what, yeah, no head, no head, no head, better cape. I hate it, like, I hate it because I really want her head. But looking at it, you really only got a 50-50 shot of the head being something that I think most people would say, that's a really, really good one. No head, no head. Who do I think will be in wave six? Uh, I don't know. Have we gone? I don't know if we've gotten leaks that far yet. I think we actually don't know any leaks for wave six. That'd be great. That's actually really great. I don't know. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe just a regular um, Zach. Because remember, uh, Armor Zach came out wave two. I believe. So, Armor Zach came out in Wave 2. Uh, by Wave 6, it'll have been a while. And especially because it was only a Walgreens exclusive, so it's not like he was available, you know, everywhere. I can see them definitely doing a Zach. Um, I don't know. Maybe a Rita standalone or something like that. Um, since they already have this stuff for Time Force, I would think maybe another Time Force one. Uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, what do you guys think? Or Rocky or Zach? I'm thinking Zach. I think, I think, Rocky, well, they just did, so Chase, for Rocky, they did Zeal Blue. So I, they're not gonna make another MMPR Red just to have a different head on it. Like, if you want Rocky, you're, you're, in, you're gonna have to buy Zeal Blue. And then, I guess, sadly, twice. Uh, Time Force Pink. I would love Time Force Pink. I would love if they did at least some, a Super Mega Force one or two, because y'all y'all know I won Gia. You know I won Gia. That would be absolutely amazing. A two-pack of Pink Space and Lost Galaxy Rangers. Steven, you got it. You, you have the pulse on it, and that's great. So it's, it's crazy. So they're doing these. Remember with the two-packs, they're doing them all about these moments. Yes, and everyone in chat, Aisha, if they could do a ninja form, I would love for them to be able to do Aisha. Uh, I could see them doing, you know, so, they, so they've so they done Mighty Morphin, they've done Zeo. I would think maybe they would want to do a Turbo or maybe even an In Space. Something a little different, you know, if they're trying to maybe include some Six Rangers, like Zane would be really cool. That American, um, no, no, Zane was not the American one. That was Titanium Ranger in Lost Galaxy. Maybe they'll do Titanium Ranger from Lost Galaxy, too. They already have the Lost Galaxy stuff. Uh, where a lot of my suggestions come from in all of these guys is oh, the A-Games 10. Ninja Steel Blue and Dino Charge Blue. Hands down, absolutely. Um, that would be, oh uh, yeah, Catherine for Pink Turbo or Zeo Pink since she already got Kim. I think... If, if we could have uh, a Catherine Sutherland as Zeo Pink, I think that would be really cool to get her, her very soon. Because since she was Mighty Morphin Pink, you could have that figure and then have the interchangeable heads, which just sounds creepy when you really think about it. Uh, so you could have those. That would be really fun because they already have the Zeo um, basic structure and stuff for the suits and the cufflinks and stuff. Cufflinks, cuffs that they do for Rocky. That would be a yeah, really, really great idea. 
Um, titanium is legend, you know, man. Um, Ninjetti Pink could be Cat, and that's how we could get Adam. Yeah, Adam, I think we're probably not going to get Adam's head until, until Zeo. Again, I think the Zeo Rangers, that's where you're going to be like, that's where you're going to get Captain Sutherland. I think if we get Turbo, it's going to be tough. If we get Turbo Pink, do we get Catherine Sutherland, who was Zeo? Or do we get uh, Cass Cassie? No, her name was Cassie. Uh, ja, ja. What? No, Patricia. Patricia Jolly. Um, or do we get her? who was in space pink, but they were both turbo pink. So that is a very interesting thing of what they would do for a character who had two individual rangers, but those individual rangers both separately had suits. Patricia, yeah, I know, right? Because I'm just, I'm just da, 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 the top of my head. Yeah, it's the same chase. I think they would do Cassie's in space pink. And then they would do, obviously... Captain Sutherland would have to be Pink Zeo. So who's Pink Turbo? Probably they'll let that one go for a very long time and just release it with the head of whoever was released longer, longer go. I would like some in-space ones. Uh, I think Silver in Space would be a really cool way to start it. If you look, every single pack has, um, it's like a red, a sixth, uh, a girl, and kind of a fan favorite slash MMPR if it hasn't already been filled. And that's kind of how a lot of packs go. And so now we have, who do you guys want to see in the next, a Legend of the White Dragon figure? That'd be really cool. I'm really, I'm vying for, I really want that one uh, to get made. Hopefully with that $100,000 uh, mark, hopefully they'll be able to make it this time at least in a smaller scale and then maybe build it out from there but i am very excited about uh, legend of the white dragon if two rangers in a row or two people do the first the first second second so cat turbo pink cassie and space pink yeah well there you go so maybe two different uh forms of cat heads yeah light speed rescue would be Light Speed Rescue is a great season, uh, not just for Titanium Ranger having it, its own, you know, original villain, but great. Beast Morphers Orange. One could only cross their fingers that they would have a slight nod to that guy. Uh, Joshi Lightning Two Pack. That would be that would have to be like a PMC exclusive. That would have to be a you're a huge Power Ranger nerd if you're going to be buying this exclusive. I mean, I would buy two because I'm a huge Power Ranger nerd. Oh, man. Okay, so look at the time. we get about four more minutes. We are chatting Lightning Collection. After that, we're going to move on to Beast Morphers and then Ryu Soldier. So, 15 more minutes. Uh, do you guys want to chat about the Lightning Dragon Dagger at all a little bit? I know the Lightning Collection figures, the, the figures are so much fun, but if you guys want to chat about the dagger at all, Let's go ahead and start bringing that up a little bit. If you guys want more information about anything that I'm talking about today, I'm going to be updating real quick down below. But just go to this very, very easy site, PowerRanger.com, with no vowels, P-W-R-R-N-G-R.com. Go there, and they have been covering everything live from Toy Fair because, in fact, the people who run it, i.e., Okay, Chris and everyone. We've been working very hard, and it is it is really really up to date. So if you hit refresh on the page, go down, and uh, you will see a link for PowerRanger.com. If you hit that up, it is going to not only take you to um, all of the news about the Beast Morphers toys and the Jada toys, the Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. It has a thing. If you go down under the editorials or the the links. But there's a really, really huge database there as well at the very top for Lightning Collection, Toy Database, and Comic Database. It's a really great place to stop if you guys have any questions in the world of Power Rangers. I'm seeing a few things about that Dragon Dagger. I need it. I already have one. Ninja Storm Red in Lightning Collection. The Ninja Storm suits were just way too cool. What's up, Donnie? How you doing? Hasbro is doing a great job with the toys. I agree, I agree. Wave five figures look amazing. Philly hype fan, you're hype. You're hype, obviously. You got this. 
Hello, Liz. Hello, Aaron. I need that dragon dagger. I am, I'm torn because I will show you this. I have, how many times y'all watch my live streams and I go, ah, oh, I don't have it here. You want to have a dragon, dragon dagger? I literally keep it next to my desk. This is how much I really love this thing. Okay. Oh, it's green. <laughs> I have a green screen. It's making it all wackadoodle. Um, that's fine. Anywho, so I have this guy, and I, I remember buying it. And I think sometimes with collection pieces, and you guys are probably like that as well, sometimes it's half the piece and half the story about it. I remember buying this Lightning Legacy Collection was just coming out. I was just really getting into the Ranger fandom, and I was just going to meet very soon Amy Jo Johnson, uh to get her autograph and to meet her at the very first convention she ever did for Power Rangers, Lexington Con in 2013. And I bought this the like night before I left and it has pretty much never left my display. Um, I never turn it on, I never like play with it. It's just, it is there as a constant reminder of just, I don't know, how awesome Rangers is, how awesome things have came around and goes around and I don't know, but it is, it is a huge, huge, huge thing for me. Uh, oh, I see some of you guys. What up? Kelly! Hi, Kelly! Everybody say hi to Kelly! Edmund Kelly, she, she's my sister. She's really cool. She puts up with, um, well, well, me for a long time. So, so she earns a lot of it. And I see a few morphs in there. What is up? I do have a Patreon. Thank you for spamming that one. Moira, I do have a Patreon if you're interested at all in figuring that out. I do have a store also for the Ranger where you can review. Uh, it's down there. And uh, again, slashed all the prices. So things are really expensive. And this timer is going to be going off in three seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And that brings us to the end of Lightning Collection. Ooh. God, I told you, it's, we're too, it's too fast. It's too fast today, guys. We have to be on it. Next thing we're going to be talking about is Beast Morphers. <gasps> what is going on, guys? Um, I need, real quick, actually, I need my alert box to get really high up there in case an alert does come through. I just realized I tossed a lot of layers on top of it. Whew. It's a hard time. I mean, it's it's crazy. Mayor Daniels. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the episode that happened today, but more specifically, I'm we're probably going to be talking about that trailer. That probably about one minute trailer that they gave us today. It is available on YouTube right now, so you can go ahead and go watch it real quick and come back. Um, yeah, the, Dan Vox, uh, Danny Vox, Mayor... Even Ev, Ev, Eva, Evans, Daniels, Daniels, Evaniels. No, no, I don't think any of those actually work. We'll have to. Oh my goodness, gracious! Katie's driving. Yeah, everybody, give my sister Kelly some good thoughts. Um, my niece. I feel so old. My niece, my niece is going to be turning sixteen in May. And getting her driver's license. They feel really old because I signed myself out of school because I was a senior in high school to go to see her when she was born. And I feel very old. <laughs> okay, okay. We gotta get the Mayor Daniels because Mayor Daniels is super evil. Or Mayor Daniels is super captured. And maybe it's like a robot that can be both forms. How absolutely nuts is this? If they merge Avia, please don't cry, Liz. Cassie, oh, dude, she's, oh, she's my, my niece. Like, oh, my God. No, I, I used to drive her around. I used to live in the same city as my sister and her husband and her family. So, like, I, I used to be around her a lot more when she was little. So that, oh, yeah. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. I am going to mention this one really quick from the commenter. Yes, he is right. Not not enough people have been mentioning this. I don't know if it's that girl or not. But so what the commenter says is, I have seen nobody talk about this yet, but the girl from Sound of Fury appears to be in the beginning of this trailer. 
No, maybe we're actually thinking of different things. So, uh, but there is a thing when it's the lion morpher and it's like this spinny thing. It looks like it's being tested on someone or someone's showing it off. That person appears to have pigtails. I, what do you think? Do you think I should, I should go with pigtails? Or do you think that would probably start sending in the wrong people to my show? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Guys, my things are 13 and up. I, no, I don't think I can do pigtails. That would look creepy. Um, yeah, so it kind of does look, look like Megan. And so I think that would be really cool. So the chick from Sound of Fury, uh, if you're not familiar with that episode by title, it was where the girl kind of was blackmailing Nate because she wanted to be in the lab. Uh, blackmailing um, Zoe. And so it could be her, and it could definitely be a redemption story. That would be great. Or... It could just be another person in the lab testing it. Unfortunately, excuse me, it, it would have to be completely out of left field. Now, it wouldn't be the first time, obviously, um, in space, silver. Why have I said in space, silver instead of titanium ranger twice tonight? Jesus, Liz, get it together. Titanium ranger. It has been done before. We have made an American uh, ranger before. Mm, I don't know. Would I, I think it was probably because they were wearing more of a, just a white jacket. Uh, I'm assuming it's just a lab assistant. So, thank you, Donnie, dude. I'm please don't do 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 pigtails. Yeah, that's. Uh, what if she comes the pink bear ranger? Ah, uh, that'd be kind of cool. Do I know Dawson Ryder? I know him. We've been on a sh like streams once or twice, and maybe we met, but. It's one of those, like, we know each other, and we know of each other, and, like, we could say hi to each other, but we don't actually communicate, like, on a day-to-day -day level. Not like me and other members of the fandom, I would say, that I'm just, that I probably annoy with the amount of messages that I send to. Do I think Golar will return? If I had it my way, he'll return for the, the team-up special. Yeah, that, that's about how it is. Do I think he'll return? I don't know. They've been so crazy on using their own. I gotta... They've been so crazy on using their own suits and stuff lately. Uh, who knows what they'll use. But they do use that Neo... It's it's Gryffindor... Neo Gryffindor, who is Goldar's Sentai equivalent. Anywho, they use him at one point in the Teemo movie, and I really hope it will happen. Does... Betty half powers. I still think she has residual powers. Yeah, I absolutely do think. Um, butter. Wait, what? I got confused. Brandon. Oh, okay. I got confused. I was seeing like Tommy Oliver's Russo green. I'm like, okay. Kristen Tiana's Russo blue. Okay. Twilight Sparkle. And I'm like, who's the name Twilight? Oh, okay. Man, it took my brain a minute to switch gears on there. Um. Yeah, yeah, going back, um, I have so many, I have, I have a lot of tabs open right now, guys. Looking back, so, yes, Chick, uh, probably not gonna be a ranger, I'm not sure, uh, I'm just trying to re-scroll through chat real quick here. Um, Evox says, apparently the Rogue Ranger's father is the key, that could be really cool. Maybe Mayor Daniels has something to do with the morphing grid, or potentially, um, maybe the Mayor Daniels is the key in the fact that, remember, back with, so here is a bit that I'm going to talk a little bit about, episode one that aired today. It was a quick little one-off line, but when they were talking about the fact that, uh, Steel was like, hey, Morphex is being stolen, and, or, he thinks Morphex is being stolen. Basically, what he says is, hey, more effects, there was a big spill, it was like an accident, there was no reason, nothing could be found, but there was a big spill, but nobody marked, but it's been cleaned up, but nobody basically said that they were the ones who had cleaned it up, so who cleaned it up, oh, this is going to be a future one, sorry, so who cleaned it up, I have no idea, uh, it's probably mayor daniels who is evox who is again in chat i don't know what you guys want to think but is it because we saw like the change is it mayor daniels who has been infected by evox and who is like being taken over or is it 
Mayor Daniels might be chained up and, like, kidnapped somewhere. And Scrozzle has found a way to get the robot to look like Mayor Daniels, who is actually Evox. So, that's kind of what I was thinking. Is it that his brain is being taken over, or is that it's just not him at all? And either way... It's not the real Mayor Daniels because he's being controlled. And when you think about the craziness of the fact that he's apparently in charge, Mayor Daniels, who the hell? You are the mayor of a city. Why are you embarrassed for this Morphax? Like, this is just crazy. So, uh, do I think Jaden has a Master Morpher? Maybe. If Tommy has one, maybe. Well, Tommy doesn't I mean Jason doesn't have his Mayor for it. Actually, in the still we see, uh, Jason does not have a Master Morpher. Jason actually just has a regular Power Rangers Morpher, so, wah, wah, sorry about that, so, he actually does have that one, but I, I'm really intrigued by Mayor Evox, is honestly what I'm probably going to start calling him now is Mayor Evox, is who is actually in control, because now, if Mayor Daniels is in charge of helping spread more facts around the globe, he is simply basically putting pit stops around the world for Evox to stop to refill on his plans of domination. She have Mayor Evox, who is the voice, the everything of, of oh, Beast Morphers and Morphex. And what was he doing at the beginning of the episode? What? Everything's great. Evox is gone. We're going to open this up. It's going to take over the whole world. But who's going to be also knowing every single plan... Now, how long, here's another question for chat that I, I, I kind of want to know what you guys think. This episode, this episode, season's going to be 20 episodes, normal, 20 normal episodes, forget about the Halloween and Christmas ones, those aren't going to matter, you have 20 episodes. When does, when do either all the rangers or when does one ranger find out? Mayor Daniels and Evox are connected. Do you think that's going to be the big... Because episode 8, to give you guys a hint, episode 8 is where the hiatus always starts. So it goes 1 through 8, and then you have that really long hiatus, and then you go 9 through the final season. So do you think it's going to be that episode 8 hiatus? Do you think maybe they're going to hold off on that and maybe do this team-up that I have the picture of, you know, like right there? Are they going to do that? Maybe episode 9? Oof, there's so much. We have four four minutes and 20 seconds. Ah, we have 420 left. Four minutes and 20 seconds left, guys. We are talking Beast Morphers. Anything and everything you want to get out in chat right now to chat. I don't like the hiatus. Man, I do not like it either. Um, Anything else you want to get out right now, we... Oof, oof, about Beast Morphers. I mean, I haven't even talked about... So there's Jason right there. Ooh, oh, wait, that's the next... That's the next... That's the next subject right there um i'm just i'm so happy with how things have been going there's a good story in this episode was tonight's episode perfect no or today's episode no it was perfect but it was great but it was great and they're back and uh and i think what makes it better was getting that teaser tonight where you just go because I found, wait a minute, I found, I mean, uh, uh, it behind Evox earlier tonight, actually, I gotta show you, I gotta show you this one, because this, I just, I love it, I love these guys, I love these guys, seriously, look at Roxy's face being back, that be my face, like, you killed my character and I still get to come back for another season? I'm so happy! It was good. It was kind of around the middle, which is good, but it wasn't, like, exciting. I, yeah, I think Orange Ranger, I think he puts that, uh, really well. I think, was it the best episode of Beast Morphers ever? No. Still a heck of a lot better than we normally get. I'm gonna hit pause on this really quick. I have to, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. So, I am going to meet my mic really quick, and I'll be right back. Chat, Beast Morphers, a few more minutes. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you want to see in episode two, too? Because we got a lot of fun stuff coming on.
boom, already back. Okay, hitting resume on the timer. Let's go right back at it. What's up? It does say Scrozzle looks for allies. It makes sense to why they return. Huh? Yeah, he's going to need someone. And as much as he didn't really like them so much, I could definitely see. Oh, that's your, that's your ranger Liz getting old. Look at my heating pad on my back. It's going to be awesome. I wonder how the Dr. K episode will be. I hope it's not rushed. Yes. Me and you both, brother. Me and you both. What up? Yeah, let's rock and be. What up? Hey, Tony. Welcome to the stream. Mike and Nerd Talk. Yo, yo, what up? They can't find Evox or his base in the cyber dimension. Where do you think they are? How do you think they just, uh, survived the end of season two? Chat, we got about a minute and a half. How do you think they survived and why couldn't they find him? Uh, I think Scrazzle just got smarter. The background, maybe it's a slightly different dimension. If you look, the pictures between last year and this year in the cy cyber dimension, uh, last year's were way more of a red hue. This year, they're all a, more of a yellow hue. And I don't know if that's just going to be matching the dynamic between um, red and yellow and now it's yellow and pink. But, Kaka, oh, Larry... I had to toss it off for the ah. Uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Kaka, my friend. Kaka. So St. Louis Battlehawks. I'm a big football fan. I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter at all. Usually on Sunday, you see you see some football chatter. Well, I live in St. Louis and we don't have a football team, but now we do. Because we got the St. Louis Battlehawks in the XFL, and y'all. XFL is actually really, really good, and they play tomorrow night. So Larry and I, you can you can catch us on uh, basically any given time the Battle Hawks or the Chiefs are playing, uh, DMing each other on Instagram, like play by play. Anywho, so thank you. Chase is Yoshi's a double. Tyler, go to Chase. Someone say XFL. I did. Man, St. Louis got a team, and I gotta tell you. It's actually really, really good. That is the end of Beast Morphers, my friend. Which means it's time for this. The next, the next season. Adapted by Power Rangers. Kishiryu Sentai Ryu Sojer. Now. If you have questions about it, this is, this is, you know what, and I want everybody in chat, be respectful on others' opinions, but if you want to say, I am absolutely ticked, and I cannot believe this happened, and it, ha it should be something else, that is okay. That is your opinion, and you are entitled to it. As long as you guys are nice to each other, whatever, because I get there are people who have very, very strong opinions about this. You really, really loved Lupin Ranger versus Path Ranger, and you really wanted to see it. You really loved uh, Ryu Soldier. Um, Q Ranger. I'm like, Circle Q Sphere Ranger. I do. I actually... No, I just take that down. I have a ghost icon for all things up there right now on the shelf. Um, I get it. So, if, if you guys... Either way, yes, there we go. Will it be on Cartoon Network? No, it's only going to be on Power or Power Rangers. It is only going to be on Nickelodeon, probably. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, here we go. Cautiously optimistic. I'm like, not dying those again. All right. Really, we got to wait six and a half months for this. Uh-huh. Every era is going to have a dino team. Yeah, you're right on that. Every era is going to have a dino team. Uh, Zeltrax will come back for Zeus Shoulder. Dino Soul would be something fun for the season of Power Rangers. Yeah, because they didn't say, they just said 2021. So Power Rangers 2021, and there it is. And so it's Re Sojer. Um, what do you think the new title will be? I, I mean, probably something dumb like Dino Force. I mean, they've done Dino Charge, they've done Dino Thunder, they like the words Force, they'll probably just do, like, Dino Force. If they did, like, Dino Knight or something, like, that would be Power Rangers Dino Knights. I don't know. They usually just try to keep it something, like, 
force or yeah, time lots of force. It's probably gonna be Dino Force. I really don't want it to be Dino Force. Let me put that out there. I don't really want it to be Dino Force. It might be Dino Force. For <laughs> exactly, Chase, it's been done. Dino Knight would be great. Um, yeah, am I excited? I am, actually. I liked, um, I mean, pretty much every series that was up for adaption, I'd be like, okay, you know, I was, I would be happy with whatever we got. This, I, I, I really, I like the suits, I like the armor, I like the helmets, I like the swords, I like the zords, so... I mean, I'm, I was pretty happy myself finding out that it was going to be Ryu Soldier because I wanted it to be adapted. Now, I also understood that it might not be adapted for four years, but I was like, it's okay, you know, as long as we get it, I'll be happy with it. So I am happy that it's happening now because I also was like, I don't know, I, I like Tokyo enough. I like Tokyo more now than I did when I watched it. That's just because a lot of other seasons of I've watched a lot of other mid seasons since I've watched Tokyo. So Tokyo is it. But between Tokyo and Q Ranger and Lupin Ranger versus Patch Ranger and stuff, I'm like I really liked them, but none of them I was like I want to see it as Power Rangers. I liked all of them for what they were. And I guess maybe that's just strange to saying, but, like, I just, I, I liked them as they were, and I wasn't like, I really want to see this as Power Rangers. But with Ryu Soldier and with the dinos and stuff, there was something about it that I was like, yeah, yeah, man, I, I kind of really do want to see this as Power Rangers, or I could just see it easier in my mind. It is a much easier Sentai to digest. It's five Rangers, plus you're going to have a sixth Ranger come in at one point. I guess I could start adding in some pictures because I have... I mean, I've only been covering Ryu Soldier for two years, or however long it's been, um, since they first announced it. I've been, I've been covering it since the trademark was leaked, so I have a decent idea of what's going on in the Sentai. This guy, though, right here, who completely took up your screen, he is my heart and soul, though. This man right here, his name is Tier Amigo, and anyone who harms them will face a swift and painful death by me there you go uh, if i could bring back one ranger to play a ranger or mentor who would it be ah uh, you know a ranger or mentor to someone because they're they're knights they have a very they have a poise about them i okay First off, I think Sir Ivan of Xandar actually would be really cool. Dino Charge Gold. Because he's already been, he's a knight, he's used to dinos. I think he could be a really fun person to be a mentor. Um, anyone really at, off the beaten path, um, I don't, like, RJ would be, like, really, really crazy. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I think if I had to say... Of the first, like, you know, eight Rangers. I would think I'd actually really want, like, Johnny Young Bosch to come back. I think he has that serenity and calm that, like, if there were, like, nights and training and stuff like that, I think that would be really fun. But Billy, of course, would just be the tech guy who's making all of this stuff. Like, hey, so we had dinosaurs and we had these morphers, but now we have dinosaurs and I made you new morphers. <laughs> You know, uh, Billy's just been around for so long that he's just made his own dino team. I'd watch it. I watched it in heartbeat. I mean, I'm going to watch this season regardless, guys. I, I've never, I've watched every episode of Power Rangers, uh, since Megaforce started. I watched every episode. I haven't watched all of Samurai or Super Samurai. I haven't watched all of Lost Galaxy. I haven't watched all of Wild Force. Is that it? And I haven't watched Turbo since I was a little, little kid. So, I, uh, yeah, David Yost doesn't want to come back. I, and I mean, I don't blame him for all the crap that he went through. Dinosaurs equal money. They do, and they're, they're cool looking. That's the thing. It would be, 
it'd be one thing if it was a dino season where it was it was pretty mid. You were like, ah, the suits or whatever. But like, they have personality. They have something about them. The fact that they're knights. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna take off Tiramigo right there, so you can look at their helmets again a little more. That is, a, it's a really fun poise. You have the Red Ranger, who's he's very courageous. He he's trying to be the best leader he can be, right? Zord. Zord on YouTube. Are you are you that Zord on YouTube? I don't know. Did Senpai notice me? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but see, you see how so the, uh, the personality you're looking at, Red, he's a leader. He's a very courageous leader. Um, trying as best as he can. Blue is the more, honestly, like, methodical. He's the smart one. He's the calm under pressure. He's going to think things through. See so if that personality. Green is kind of the younger one, the speedster. Um, very fast about things. Kind of the ha ah, kind of guy. Uh, black is very justice, very I am a knight, very stoic, um, I think stoic is probably the right word for him, uh, he's, he's a lot of fun, and last one, pink, um, Asuna, her name's Asuna in the show, um, she's, unfortunately what happens whenever you only have one girl in the entire show, she's kind of the tomboy she's kind of the she can be a little bit of a girly girl but she really is an awesome character and she really is strong at the end um like if you're following in review soldier right now in the end a lot of places where normally the sixth ranger would be she's there she's like no 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 because she's actually the strongest lady on the she's the strongest person on the team they all kind of have their their things um, you know, the knight of courage, the knight of speed, the knight of wisdom, she's like the knight of strength, and so she's ridiculously strong, which I love. Uh, Brown Ranger barely does anything, and it's hilarious, right? It was, it was pretty funny. I think it's funny, because it was like, oh my god, new ranger, new ranger, wait, sit, so, okay, well, that was fun. A homeschooled Power Ranger. Although some Rangers, I swear, never are actually in school. My nephew is homeschooled. He could totally be a Power Ranger. If I actually, if I convinced him enough to audition to be a Power Ranger, he's only like 13 right now. But if I convinced him hard enough to audition to be a Power Ranger, he probably would at least make the first round of auditions. <laughs> he, he's like a secondary black belt. He's like a secondary black belt. And he's been doing theater for, like, seven years of his 13 years of existence. Like, he loves to act and sing and do martial arts. He'd actually be the perfect Power Ranger. He actually knows he likes Power Rangers. He was my little Power Ranger buddy um, before he got big and stopped watching Power Rangers. And I started watching them more. Oh, uh, yeah, man, Deca Mexican, Squall Charleston, I've all talked about it. Uh, I saw oh, another, uh, Daryl, what is, I can't remember Daryl's last name off the top of my head. A few people, a few people have talked about auditioning. I, I help them the best. There are definitely a few people in the fandom who have, um, the, excuse me, they have not only the acting chops, but they have, like, some skills, some stunt choreography, things like that. Um, I mean, it's, I, I'm like I'm I'm not gonna be a ranger. Like I I'd, I'd have to drop forty pounds immediately to be a ranger and it's I mean it's as much of a like anybody can be a ranger. That is true. But if you wanna really fit on the spandex and a screen Yeah Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I keep trying to ask you to lose something but it keeps getting buried. Okay, I'm watching it. The A Games ten, I'm watching it. Cold Dino Night is. Yeah. Uh. Who should who should the gold? I think the gold one should just be uh start in April for auditions. I think the gold ranger should just be surviving again. That would be freaking hilarious. Spandex ain't good for the thick. Five man. It's all about that five man. Okay. 
I want to be resident who is the innocent bystander. There's no innocent bystanders here. Hey, thanks, Ranger Liz Bot, for reminding everyone. I do have a Patreon page, and if you're interested in helping, for five five dollars is the max. Uh, I have actually, and for five dollars, you get your name at the end of every Ranger Week and review. VA Games sent Liz. Will Re Soldier adaptation be one season or two seasons? In your opinion, that's a really good question. Because the Nickelodeon contract will run out next year if they don't renew the contract. The A Games head with an absolutely amazing question, guys. Uh, if you don't know it, the Nickelodeon contract runs out after one more year. They were only signing them in like three year increments, so they signed it. Beef Morphers Season 1, Beef Morphers, Beef, Beef Morphers? <sighs> Beast Morphers season two but now we only have one season originally um i was thinking beast morphers could be a one-year adaptation i think a lot of other people are maybe thinking that too of like how are they going to make that work because we knew about the the three-year contract before beast morphers and so i was like a lot of people and i said well, okay well maybe beast morphers is a season you you could probably have imagined if they had to cram an entire season into 20 episodes, they could have ended it at the last episode of season one. They could have neglected uh, Mayor Daniels with the Evox thing. They could have neglected Be Betty maybe having some powers. And they could have ended the entire show. And I think we all would have went, bravo, great solid season of Power Rangers. But we get more, and that's fantastic. But because of that, we are looking at one more year of a contract with a very large season. This is not a season. I mean, they're they're introducing stuff a lot. Minimizing this to only 20 episodes, I really couldn't see happening. I really couldn't. Not with all of the other Zords that they have to introduce. Not with all of the other characters. And, I mean, yes, there's a lot of stuff you could obviously strike out of the script. But it would be really tough to do an entire Ryu Soldier adaptation in only 22-ish episodes. 20, mostly. Two are just standby and whatever. Power Rangers. Um, yeah, man, if Power Rangers could eventually move to either Netflix or Discovery Family. I think if Power Rangers on Netflix, I think if they could simply just start putting this episodes up... Even, like, once a month pop up four episodes. I'm not saying you have to do it every day, like, as soon as they're up. But maybe, you know, maybe the beginning, uh, from what I've heard, Nickelodeon is was doing a new contract with Netflix. And hopefully with that, we can get a little bit better of a release schedule. Remember, the end of episode, or the end of season one, isn't even up yet on Netflix. And here's season two. Not really great for the brand. So I hope this is something that Hasbro, now that they have their full weight behind the project, um, they can really get behind. And where are you guys going to let this fall in your own, um, I don't know, in your own mind, I guess. With Wild Force, we called it, it was half Saban, half Disney, right? Beast Morphers started Saban. It was the, the trademark, the everything, everything came in Saban, and then all of a sudden, Hasbro bought the brand. And with Saban, already have had made so many decisions and everything with the show, how do you guys chalk it up? Do you consider it like Wild Force, where it's kind of like half Saban, half Disney? Is Beast Morphers like half Saban, half Hasbro? It just, it just, sorry, it, it strikes me that I'm like, again, Hasbro so bought the brand. Built it up, somehow, and sold it again. It's, uh, they're saying it's going to have a total of about 50 episodes before moving to ABC Kids. Yeah, if, if they're saying it's going to have a total of about 50 episodes, I would love it, but 51 episodes is... I mean, even still, if you think 22 a year, that's 44, maybe an additional, what, five? I mean, give me 25 episodes and then two fillers. I'd be happy with five more episodes. 
Um, technically, isn't there a red female ranger? There is Lauren. That is Lauren from, um, not Shinkinger. Not Shinkinger. Samurai. From Samurai. We had to knock that out real quick. This is just a fun scene. This was from, uh, not the episode that just aired today, but from a very recent one. If you guys just want to get a cool look at these suits. And, uh, these all have their extra battle armors to them. They're going in for the big fight. I would consider Beast Morphers to be all Hasbro, okay? Samurai, Super Samurai. First ever episodes of Wild Force ended with a copyright for Disney Enterprises. Yeah, it's it's a weird way, right? Because it's, it's kind of, it's a little wonky. 50, season 1 of Beast More vs. Saban. We don't know how season 2 will really be. Yeah, it's tough because on, on one hand, and, and like I feel like because Hasbro has had the brand longer, they could have made those cuts, right? They could have made the edits, they could have did the graphical changes. But on the same hand, Hasbro buying the brand, like right before they go out and film, they use all of the same people they had before, they use all the same writers, they use everything was the same. They hadn't really changed anything yet. And that's why I, I'm, I'm really interested in where this Ryu Soja adaptation is going to go because we we don't know where they're going to go. Here's a, an interesting thing, if you guys don't know it or not, Hasbro did not renew the, the lease or whatever, or the, the building that Power Rangers used to film in, that entire studio in New Zealand. It's up for grabs. They're not filming there. So this is, and this was, I don't want to go back to like the Power Rangers and A saying, oh, it's all uh, doom and gloom. But that was something that, it's not there. So, where are the Power Rangers going to film? Guys, I I don't know. I Believe me, I'm, I'm as happy as a clam. I know, there are definitely some things in Rangers that make you go, hmm, you know. But, you know, here we go. Here we go. We got our new season coming in in 2021. And as of right now, we have the start of another really promising season in beast morphers guys according to my clock it is 9 55 so i'm gonna be wrapping this up in the next five minutes so now is the time i'm gonna minimize this i'm just gonna pay attention to chat and uh and let's just chat for a few minutes and have some fun whoop, whoop. all right i'll stop touching i'll stop touching you i promise here we go uh brown ranger yeah that's crazy you're right i've seen resoger it's been an adventure it's great dino knights would be a little nods what they call the resoger i'd love it if they were called dino knights um i'm a i'm a dinosaur guy absolutely dang i'm i get dinosaur stuff i think it's i i like it like i like the dino stuff it, it just makes me feel like a kid again and you know um you're getting a little older and you you it's really nice to feel like a kid again. Come on, you're not the only one. Oh, uh, let me refresh. I gotta, I gotta refresh the stream real quick. Uh, man, there are 60 of you in here. This is nuts. I, if I haven't, thank you. Thank you guys all for being here. I know I've been kind of like blurring and going, whatever, but holy cow, there are 60 of you in here. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't done already, please hit the like button on this and please hit the subscribe video if you enjoy this uh for my channel at all it's why no i do not want to save a pop-up youtube what are you doing to me man i was trying to bring up like another picture and stuff and then it, it was all just it's all just crashing that's fine <gasps> that's fine y'all that's fine i'm just i'm happy as can be i'm happy as can be right now um Things are going fun. We have a brand new Beast Morphers. Obviously, a ton of new Beast Morphers on the way. Uh, if you want the new Legacy Dragon Dagger, Lightning Dragon Dagger, great. If you don't, you can probably still buy this one for retail price somewhere. Uh, I'm loving where Beast Morphers is going. I'm loving where I think Ryu Social is going to go. The toys, the Lightning Collection is great. Get your pre-orders in. Again, if you want to help support the channel, uh, check out the Amazon affiliate links below if you want to order anything. I'm going to be uh, just keeping a constant eye out for Power Ranger stuff, so anything that's new I'm going to be adding on because I have, like, lists of, like, you just go to the Hasbro list of Power Ranger toys, and I have a giant Amazon list of every freaking thing they've put up on it, which is 
it's insane, but I but I keep up with it, man. Hi from Brazil. What up? Brazil, Michael. I do now have some chat commands, but then there's a little sleepy of that. I love how the one thing, I have one thing that's literally working on my chat right now, and it's uh, my actual screen. Right now, everything else is froze up. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Wait, so where is Devin's real dad? I don't know, Brandon. I don't know. Is it his real dad being taken over? Like, literally taken over by Evox? Is his dad still in chains? Is his dad still kidnapped on Earth somewhere in Evox? I don't know, man. I don't know. But it's crazy. Hi from USA. Hi. Hi, Zordon. Makes me... I don't know if you're a real Zordon or not. I feel like you could be. If you're the real Zordon. Thanks. I'm still awaiting your call. Heads up. My goodness gracious. Y'all. This week has been crazy, right? Um... If you want to help support the channel, again, Patreon, I have a Ranger Weekend Review, um, I have a Ranger Weekend Review channel for, or for merch. I'm going to get going, guys. It's 10. This, this is crazy. This has been an absolutely fantastic week. I love you all. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Larry, uh, for the $10 donation. I will probably just spend it on beer the next time you come over and visit, but that's fine. Um... I hope kick the rest of this weekend's ass, Ranger Nation. You've got a smile in your step, just a hop in your heart. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Go take Sunday and just grab a by the cojones and make it yours. Yes. All right. I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Doodles.